Hello, this is Puff here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, a new detector, a game detector, for the new uh, FB Alpha emulator that Shine has uh, updated for Fightgate. And he has added this very nice feature which can detect when uh, each player uh, wins a game and then it has a counter and it comes the wins for uh, each player, either player 1 or player 2. Uh, so inside the Fightgate folder we have this detector folder and we're going to create a new file here. So the file should be named like this and it should be placed inside a um, folder which should be the same should have the same name as the ROM so I'm going to use the Japanese Super Turbo ROM as an example uh, so inside this file the, there are three things that we want to specify uh, one is when a game starts, then the other one is when the player 1 wins, and the other one is when the player 2 wins. So the format is like this. Detector type. Uh, I'm going to use this, sorry. Detector type equals uh, sorry. and then um, an alias a position and the width and the a so to detect when a game start starts the detector type is start uh, so as an alias we can use start game when to detect when the player one wins the detector type is player one and the same for player two and as an alias we can use player one wins and player 2 wins. So now to get the positions and the width and height, we have to start the emulator. So I'm going to use the command line. And so this screen will be used, for example, to mark the start of a game. So I take a snapshot here. Uh, now I have to win again with player one and then again with player two. Okay. And now I'm going to take another screenshot. I need to win with player 2. Okay, and now take another screenshot. 
Now I can close this and here in the screenshots folder we have the three screenshots. All right, we open this in paint and I'm going to use an area around here for example to detect the uh, start of a game. So I will have to put here the position as you can see in the top, uh, it's already in the bottom left corner. In Pine, you see the position. So I'm going to use, for example, something around here 150, 124. So, and I think this will be enough so it's a 20 per 20 pixels square at this position 150 124 okay now uh, i can close this now let's see when the player one wins the second start appears so this star is at position uh, 18, 18, and um, is around yeah nine pixels long. So in here I put the position 18, 18, and it would be a square of nine per nine. And now the same for player two. So open that in paint and for player 2 we have this second star here and it's at 354 18 uh, so it's 354 18 and it's a square of 9 per 9 so this will be my uh, detector file finished so i'm going to save it all right and i'm going to close this now oh sorry Close that. Uh, so here in the detector folder, I have this inf file that I have just created. Okay. Now I'm going to start. The emulator, but this time I need to put these parameters. Quark debug detector and then the game and uh, start it in uh, window mode. So here you can see that it says that the active slot is the start game. I can cycle uh, through active slots if I press uh, control N so you see player 1 wins player 2 wins start game alright so now I'm going to uh, save the sprites for the uh, start game so I need to go to the screen this thing. Here I press Ctrl and T. So now I, here we have the start game. So it has saved the sprites that I specified before in the detector.in file and it's detecting that this is a start game. So now I'm gonna cycle. 
now uh, I will do the same for player one green. Yeah. Uh, and now I have to cycle again and win the game with player 2. Control M to test. And as you can see here in uh, green color, we can see that it's detecting the start game correctly. Now Here we have the uh, hunter, the player one and player two. And you see here player one wins and it has increased the hunter and one. Now let's test with player 2. Is the batting game start properly again? Player to win and increase the counter again. So that's it. We have uh, implemented the detector properly, and here we can see that when we press Control P to save the detectors, to save the sprites, it has saved this. So this is a, a good detector for. Uh, Super Street Fighter to Turbo Japanese version. Uh, you can see the syntax of the file again. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and you find easy to create new detectors.